we're out at Preston's, back of Liverpool, and we've got Joe, VK2A, JP, and we're doing a test to see if we can, if we can generate electricity to light some globes and things, and we're getting a good reading on the meter. And that's just the earth? The finger, yep. Finger on the antenna, no antenna yet. Yeah. Joe's finger antenna. Joe's finger, and, but being assisted by this monstrous great earth state. So Joe's going to tell you all about ABC Radio. A little bit of research. Um, the height of the tower is 142 metres. For the old people like me, it's 465 feet. It seems to be about 0.33 of a wavelength because at 702 kilohertz, the one wavelength is 427 metres, so the tower would have to be 1,400 feet. But it appears that it is only 142 metres, which is about 0.33 of a wavelength. So they must have some great loading <laughs> coils or an LC network. There we go. Okay, now I hope you guys have memorised all that because there's going to be some questions later. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and John will be asking the questions. <laughs> It's, it's a beautiful day, yeah. and, and look at that tower. We'll do a little selfie. There we go. The tower's been up there for about 70 plus years. 70 plus so, years, yeah. Um, this is me just using a finger on the actual antenna socket. We haven't put the vertical antenna up yet. You take your finger off, push that, see that? Yeah, put your finger back. And now... There's the reading on the needle. That's the... Full scale. That's without an antenna. And that's a 50 microvolt full scale movement. I suppose yeah. we can all see that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to the, to the radio again. See, so there's two, two actual audio transmissions, or two RF sources out of this tower. So you can two at once. Okay, so what we've done, we've stretched, stretched the length of wire with an insulator across here. Don't trip over to the car. Yes. Yep, and then. To a big loading coil. Onto, onto the roll there, yeah, very important. And guess what? The LED lights, look at this. Look. And, and, and we can adjust the tuning and see but Yeah, you, you did peak it a little bit. See that? Look at that. So So this is the peak now. So there this is are. this is absolutely fantastic because as I've said in the past, as a ten year about about an eleven year old schoolboy. I came out here with basic equipment and couldn't get anything to happen. And here we are, umpteen years later. Okay. So to, to improve our... To improve our signal, the reception of this... We're changing the ground resistance. Yeah. Well, yeah. hopefully, once it's soaked in. <laughs> once it's soaked in. <laughs> it, the ground's very hard. I could. That's as far as I could bang it in. Maybe we can bang it a bit more. Everybody needs their earth stake banged in well. Cheers. <laughs> okay, so we've we've fitted this vertical pipe as yep. the antenna. We have the vertical yeah. up now, and the old theory of uh, polarity is quite critical because the vertical is much shorter to the long wire, and yet we're getting quite a lot of uh, intensity or of, of brightness off the globe on the vertical. And it's quite consistent regardless how I adjust the or peak the capacitor, it doesn't drop off at all. No, it's basically. Just, so, so, we're more so we're getting more pickup or more output input into the uh, antenna from a vertically polarized. Well, let the viewers hear that. Oh, it's just overloading it. Um, you know, moving positions again. Which